Okay, so this video is about Year 7 at Plan, and this time the calculator is allowed. Question 5. Cammy left her house at 8.35 in the morning and did not return until 4.45 in the afternoon. How long was Tammy away from her house? Okay, so 8.35 a.m. to 4.45 p.m. So first of all, we can do it a couple of ways. Let's do it this way. 8.35 to 9 is 25 minutes. And then 9 all the way to 4 p.m. 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. is 7 hours. And then, because 9 to 12 is 3 hours, and then 12 to 4 is 4 hours. So 3 plus 4 gives you 7. And then we have 4 to 4.45, which is very straightforward, just 45 minutes. So 7 hours we already know. We add the minutes together. 25 plus 45 gives you 70 minutes. And that is equal to 1 hour and 10 minutes since there are 60 minutes in one hour. So we have one hour and 10 minutes plus seven hours, and that gives you eight hours and 10 minutes. So this option is correct. Question 11, this tile has equal length sides. So each one, so this is a pentagon as you can see, and each one, each side has a length of 3.5 centimeters. Four of the tiles join together in a larger shape, as shown. What is the perimeter of the larger shape? Okay, so let's pick somewhere to start. Let's just say here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 sides all together. And each one is 3.5. So let's use the calculator. 3.5 times 14 equals 49. Answer is this one, 49 centimeters. Okay, next question. Each, fact, each day a factory produces 1,250 cans of chicken soup and 1,300 cans of vegetable soup. Each can contains 400 grams of soup. How many kilograms of soup does the factory produce in one day? All right. So first of all, let's add those two numbers up. So all together, how many cans of soup do they produce each day? So this plus 1,300 equals to 2,550. So, we need to multiply this by 400. And once again, since we're allowed to use a calculator, let's use that times 400 equals to 1,020,000. And this is in grams, remember, because this was 400 grams, as we can see here. So, to get from grams to kilograms, remember that in one kilogram we have. 1,000 grams. Therefore, to get from grams to kilograms, we need to divide this number by 1,000. And let's just do that. Equals to 1,020. So our answer will be 1,020 kilograms. Question 19. Sophia wants to buy the type of pasta that is the best value. So, in other words, she's saying she wants to get the pasta which so gives her the most for each dollar she spends so the most weight for each dollar she spends which type of pasta costs the least per gram uh, well that's another way of putting it so for one dollar so let's change everything to one dollar to get from two dollars to one dollar we need to divide by two so 150 divided by two is 75 grams for one dollar. 
Now here, $2 to $1, dollars we divide by 2 again, this would be 125 grams. Because the half of 250 is 125. So for past the spirals, you get 125 grams for $1. Now, spaghetti. Let's use the calculator for this. Divide by 3 equals to 133.33. And it keeps going. So we can just show that using the dot on top as is the usual, usual notation for a number which is recurring. So that many grams for one dollar. So, so far spaghetti, we get the most amount for each dollar. And then fettuccine, five dollars to one dollar, that means dividing by five. So 500 grams divided by five is 100 grams. So the best value is this one, since you get the most number of grams for one dollar. Another way of putting it, it costs least per gram. So spaghetti is the correct answer. Question 20. Leo recorded the number of pages he printed over five weeks. So what is the mean number of pages Leo printed? So here, mean means average. So let's add them up. Then the number of weeks was 5. So we need to divide by 5 to get our answer. So let's quickly do that on the calculator. So 17 plus 22 plus 17 plus 24 plus 20 is equal to 100 and then we divide by 5 as you can see divide that by 5 and we'll get 20 so 20 is the average number of pages Leo printed each week so our answer is to question 20 is actually 20 all right question 23 the table below lists the original price of the and the amount of discount of the same shirt at four different shops. Which shop has the lowest sale price for the shirt? Okay, 20% off, or 25% off something which costs $20 originally. So in the end, that means you have to pay 75% of the original price. Another way of doing that would be 0 0.75 times 20. And you can do this on the calculator, you will get 15. So our answer is $15. What about this? If one third is the discount, we still need to pay two thirds of the original price. Two thirds of $24. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. So that's our answer for option B. Now 30% of $30. So that if 30% is a discount, we still need to pay 70% of it. So that is 0.7 times 30, if we do that properly, we'll get $21. And the last one, it just says simply $2 off. So 18 minus two gives you $16. So let's compare these four. Which one is the lowest? Which one is the lowest? It is 15. So A is the answer. That is the lowest sell price. 25. Lily has a box with a volume of 6,750 centimeters cubed and a height of 30 centimeters. Which of these could be the length and width of the box? So you should know that volume equals to length times width times height. So let's fill this in. So we know that the volume is this much. And we don't know the length or the width, but we do know the height. So we can put the units in, it's probably better to do that. So, we need to figure out what is this, because that's what the question is asking. The way we do this, we keep this to one side, you can keep this on the left or the right, it's fine here. You usually do keep it on the left, but it's fine for now, because it will give you the same answer. Now we do 
6,750 divided by 30. So you can do this on the calculator. It's quite simple. First, or you can do it in your head, that's fine. Cross out the zeros and 600 and, so not in your head, sorry, you can do this using long division. 675 divided by 3. So let's just quickly do that. How many times does 3 go into 6? That many? How many times does it go into 7? So twice, and the remainder is 1, then bring 5 down. 3 goes into 5. 3 goes into 15, 5 times. So there we have it. Our answer is 225. And which of these gives us 225? So let's start off with this one. Let's check this. 25 times 9. So let's do that. And yep, 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. So 225. There we have it. That's going to be our answer. We can check the other ones just to make sure. But as you can see, this is our answer. But if we were to check, let's just quickly do it. This would be 300 centimeters squared. This would be 325 centimeters squared. And this would be 450 centimeters squared. So they're all not equal to 225. Only this one is. So that's our answer. 26. Ruby designs a rectangular picture for her wall. Inside a rectangle, she adds three straight lines as shown. What is the size of angle X? Okay, this is a right angle, so we already know that is equal to 90 degrees. And all these angles are on a straight line. And we know that angles on a straight line equal to 180 degrees. So this is 90, this is 45. So what else do we need for all of this to add up to 180? That's right, we need 45 degrees here. And then, let's have a look. This is also a straight, so all these angles are also on a straight line. So there's one angle here, and there's another angle here, which, which is the one we just figured out. So, if this is 45, this has to be 180 minus 45. And if we do that properly, we will get 135. And that is the size of X, 135 degrees. Question 29. A school vegetable garden has four lettuce plants, two less capsicum plants than spinach plants, four times as many spinach plants as lettuce plants, one parsley plant, one sage plant, and one basil plant. And the number of spinach plants is a quarter of the number of tomato plants. How many plants are growing in the school vegetable garden? Okay, so first of all, we know four lettuce plants. Let's write down four there. Two less capsicum plants than spinach plants. We can't do that yet. Let's do the next one first. Four times as many spinach plants as lettuce plants. So four times four is 16. So we have 16 spinach plants. Now, two less capsicum plants than spinach plants. So two less than 16 is 14. One parsley plant, one sage plant, and one basil plant. Add them up, you'll get three. And the number of spinach plants is a quarter of the number of tomato plants. So this is equal to a quarter of the number of tomato plants. So in other words, the number of tomato plants is four times the number of spinach plants. So 4 times 16 is 64. So that's that. Now we need to add all these numbers. And let's quickly do that. So that's just getting blocked off. 64 plus 3 plus 16. We just go from the bottom up. 14 plus 4 equals 101. So that is our answer. And the last question for this video. Question 32. The headboard on Alice's bed is in the shape of a trapezium. To paint the headboard, Alice needs to calculate the area. So first of all, let's do the easy part. Let's do the area of the rectangle. So length times width. 50 times 100 
gives you 5,000 centimeters squared. Now we can do it using the area of a triangle. The formula for that is half times base times height. Remember that the height is the perpendicular height, not the slanting height. So by perpendicular, I mean this one and not this one. But we can sort of make this easier for ourselves. Let's say, let's take this triangle and put it over here because it's the same size as this triangle. So if we do that, sort of visualize it and rotate it and put it over here, we will figure out that this is still 50. So 20 times 50 centimeters gives you 100, 1,000, sorry, 1,000 centimeters squared. So this new rect this rectangle is 1,000 centimeters squared. Now 5, 1,000 plus 1,000 gives you a total of 6,000. So that is your answer for this question. That's all for this video. Please watch my other videos for solutions and explanations to more questions just like these. Good luck.